and welcome to BizTech on Ghana Web TV. My name is Ernestina Sewa Asante. On today's edition, we take a look at a logistics and transport company, Seven Streams Limited, which deals in the haulage of petroleum products. Seven Streams Company Limited, or Seven Streams Limited, seeks to create jobs in the petroleum sector as well as provide all the logistical needs of clients. My colleague, Maoli Aholumega, had an interaction with the founders of Seven Streams Limited. Gerald and Carlin Wilson and has the full report. Hello and welcome to another edition of BizTech on Ghana Web TV. In this episode, we turn our attention to the operations of a company that deals with the transportation and haulage of petroleum products with a view of creating employment and job opportunities. Before I introduce my guest, I'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome back from another break on BizTech. I have here with me Carleen and Gerald Wilson, and they are the founders of Seven Streams Company Limited, which is a company that deals with transportation in the petroleum sector. Gerald and Carleen, welcome to BizTech. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, great. Thank you for yes. having us. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you guys are the founders of Seven Streams Limited. Um, mm -hmm. Just tell us briefly what Seven Streams Limited does in the petroleum sector. Well, like you said, Seven Streams is a, a transportation haulage company. Mm. Um, we are a company that um, does uh, petroleum hauling uh, within Ghana. Mm. Um, basically, that's what we do for now. In mm -hmm. the future, we'll look into other uh, alternative business options. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But before, what went into the idea of setting this up? Because, you know, the petroleum sector is a very, very key and important sector. What, what went into the idea of setting this up? Well, um, moving to Ghana, um, it, obviously, if, we, if you're going to make a permanent move, you need a source of income. Mm. So that's the first thought. What are we going to do? Yeah. So we, um, I had made contact with um, Ghanaians, business consultants, and so on. And so this was one of the options that was thrown out. Initially, it was agriculture. But of course, agriculture is a process and you know, a longer process before you start to make uh, profit. So we, um, when my consultant uh, told me about petroleum hauling, I mm. thought it was an immediate source and also a lucrative one. So mm. that is what led us to um, starting petroleum okay. hauling. So, yeah, so I'm sure you, you, before setting up the business, you, you had gone through a lot of processes, registering it. What were some of those challenges that you guys faced so far? <laughs> Very, <laughs> Maybe Colleen can tell yes, us. Yes, good yeah. question. Yeah. Yep. Because I was here <laughs> for the registration. I was here at the initial stages. Mm. And... Um, you know, we met with uh, Ben and Frank, okay. they are our consultants, oh, and nice. they, thankfully, because if I had to do it on my own, <laughs> I probably <laughs> would not have done it, but thankfully, they were there, they were present, and they took us around, um, they took me around and to the various places. You have your challenges, as you would have anywhere, so to me, the biggest challenge probably the traffic <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that's okay because it's city and mm. we experience where i'm from in trinidad and tobago we experience traffic like that in the city or even on the way to the city mm. so it's nothing strange but it for the most part it runs smoothly mm. which i appreciate okay yeah yeah so this seven streams is it's seeking to help with transportation of oil right yes. um what's what's the core business model model for seven stream <laughs> well, that that is where um, the, the that, that answer would have been like uh, directed better to my operations manager, okay. who is the person who would have been able to explain intricately, mm. you know what you know that to answer that question. Mm. Um, but uh, the most I could tell you is that we are we we want we are hauling petroleum products. So apart from just um, fuel, we'll be looking into going um, into um, uh, lubricants and so on. Okay. And uh, nice. yes, and mm -hmm. so uh, and apart from just all in, within Ghana, mm -hmm. in, in the future we'll probably go outside of Ghana. You know, so 
for now, that's, that's what we're looking at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want to come down to the staff strength. I'm sure you have a number of people working for you. And um, how are you guys ensuring that you are giving employment to a lot more Ghanaians? Because you guys have been in Ghana. I'm sure you're in love with the place already. Uh, yeah, for sure. so, yeah. <laughs> how, how are you guys making sure that you have a lot of Ghanaians working for you? Well, so far, everyone that works for us are mm. Ghanaians. Mm, that's and nice. um, we intend to grow, as my husband just explained, uh, uh, not just in terms of oil um, or the oil sector, but there are a lot of things that uh, we can do in Ghana. And um, we want Ghanaians, a big part of us being here, because this has been in the making for years, mm. a big part of us being here is because for most of us in the diaspora, we see Africa as the motherland. Mm. And we feel like we have a responsibility to bring back a lot of what was lost, and mm. not just her children, mm. but what was lost in her losing her children. Mm. And we want to bring that back. So in bringing um, all these opportunities in diversifying, we can create more employment. And we have a lot of other projects going on in mm. this side where, yeah. you know, but we'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll come back and talk about yeah. that, so we'll take a quick break. Mm -hmm. I'll be speaking with Gerald and Carleen Wilson, and they are the founders of Seven Streams Company Limited, which is a petroleum college company. They've been my guest on this week's edition. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome up for another break on BizTech. I have here with me Gerald and Carleen Wilson. They are the founders of Seven Streams Company Limited, which is a petroleum haulage company. We've been talking about how they are impacting the sector to create jobs and employment. Guys, I've been having a very interesting conversation mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to find out, I know you guys are married. Yes. <laughs> what went into the idea of joining hands together and say you want to run this, co this company as a couple? Well, um we could go back 12 years because that's how long <laughs> we've been married okay uh going on 12 years mm. um so we i'm from jamaica okay and um around the time of the uh the financial collapse in 2008 mm. um is when uh, well i went to trinidad after trying businesses in jamaica and they didn't work out mm. you know i said you know let maybe i should try somewhere different so i went to trinidad and that's where i met my wife because okay. she's from trinidad and Lucky then, trip for you. Yes, it was, <laughs> definitely. And then, you know, after we've you know, gotten to know each other and um, we realized we share the same dreams, um, you know, for the, for the uh, future, you know, mm. which is ultimately coming back to Africa. Because mm. that's something that I have known for 20 years that I wanted to do. And so when I met her and realized she had the same dream, you know, it was just a matter of putting things in place to accomplish that, you know. And then we left, both of us left, and we migrated to the United States with our kids. Okay. And yeah. um, we spent four years there, and that's when we started to put the, I guess, the financial aspect of it that would be needed to establish mm -hmm. business here. Um, that's when we decided, uh, when the, after the global pandemic uh, mm -hmm. hit, uh, uh, COVID-19, yeah. COVID, yeah. <laughs> we decided, you know what, that, that is our... our um, Your cue to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, yes, we don't want no, nothing more catastrophic yeah. than this to catch us in the United States. So mm -hmm. we're like, you know what, it's high times we make this move. And yeah. the, um, like I said, we, we, we did the, our due diligence or feasibility studies and um, spoke with people, our um, neighbors, were Ghanaians and um, we went and met with them and you know just kind of give us a synopsis of what Ghana would be like and mm -hmm. then the rest is you yeah. know Carly will fill in on the rest <laughs> yeah. of it. So. Yeah so for you, for you Carly how, yeah, how is it yeah. like working with your husband? Oh it's like oh we, <laughs> <laughs> we've been working together ever since um, you know just before we got married mm. there was this experience I had with him and it was actually a meal so we were at a friend's house and there were mm. a lot of people there and we cooked a meal and he cooked part of the meal jamaican style <laughs> and i cooked my part trini style okay and Blend he was look two. yeah he was looking at mine and he was like oh i don't know how that <laughs> tastes you know that's what he said to me and they did things differently however when we brought that meal together, oh my God, everybody enjoyed it. Nice. And so that's where our journey of working together began. Okay. And to this day, 
you know, we do things differently sometimes, but when we come together, I'm sure it's enjoyed the same way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's the reason why you guys bet Seven Streams. What, what are some of the investment opportunities people should be looking out for at Seven Streams Company Limited? Well, like I said, the initial plan was for agriculture. Mm. I have a passion um, for agriculture. Uh, we just needed a, 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 a immediate source of income. And since this is a lucrative business, the oil business, it will help us to get the, um, the agricultural aspect um, or, or plans on stream. So that is one way that we're going to diversify um, our business. And also, it will, we, it will need a lot of manpower. Mm. And um, so that will create employment for other people. And I'm not talking about agriculture just to sell on the side of the yeah. street. I'm talking about manufacturing and mm -hmm. processing, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, one of the things that we want to do is to kind of set a different standard um, as it relates to employee and how you deal with the workforce, yeah. you know, like better salaries and benefits and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. So we're wrapping up. What's the future of Seven Streams Limited looking like? How's it looking for you guys so far? Well, um, the future is bright because mm. a lot of what we do is not, is not just for us and it's not just about us. It's about the continent. It's about Ghana. It's about rebuilding. It's about restoring. And we put, we have things, as I mentioned earlier, going on on this side that we are um, working on in terms of restoration, one in particular is schools that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. um, f uh, as it relates to the company financing it, it's a company that just started. Okay. So we have to do what we can. Sometimes manually, my husband went to the school the other day because we want to adopt these schools and make changes. Mm -hmm. And he went and physically started cleaning up around the school, you know, um, attempted to him and a teacher. And there's a school close to us so that is some of the things that we are also looking into mm. so this that we're doing here the seven streams this yeah. is as much about us as it is about ghana okay. and her people and then giving back as well definitely yeah. Yeah. so find out what are your final words to for those who want to invest into ghana especially those in the diaspora mm. what would you what, 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 what words would you have for them well like i said if you're if you're looking to um repatriate obviously you're gonna need a source of income mm -hmm. and also if you're just looking to invest for passive income it's a good um, company to invest in because when you're trying to do business outside of your country it's gonna be difficult to set up registration and that is a long and hard process yeah. you know it's a time-consuming process so the fact that seven streams is already established it will make it a lot easier we have already created a, a path for you to come and make your investment um, easier. And like I said, it's passive income, what we're offering. For people who are interested, you know, you could reach out to us um, and uh, we'll, you know, send you our, our um, uh, yeah, investment yeah. package and so on. Mm -hmm. So it will explain in detail, you know, what it entails. So like I said, Seven Streams is basically creating an a easier way for you to come to Ghana and invest. Otherwise, if you try to do it on your own, it's going to be a long and, 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 and drawn out process. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. I've been, it's been interesting having a conversation mm -hmm. with you. Yes, thank, thank you. you. I've been speaking with Gerald and Carleen Wilson, and they are the founders of Seven Streams Company Limited, which is a petroleum haulage company, and they are seeking to create employment in Ghana's petroleum value chain. They've been my guest on this week's edition of This Tech. My name is Maori Aholimeka. Many thanks for watching. Thank you, Maoli Aholumega, for that report. Up next is Busy Headlines. Now to our very first story. The government of Ghana is said to be engaged with four different advisory firms on the economic policy and debt management of the country in the wake of the ongoing negotiations with the International Monetary Fund. This is according to a report attributed to Red Intelligence, a Singapore-based finance and markets research firm. The four advisory firms are said to be engaging government on an informal basis due to the negotiations not yet being formalized. The firms, according to Red Intelligence, include Lazard, Global Sovereign Advisory, Hogan Lovells, and Lions Head Global Partners. 
Meanwhile, the Singapore-based finance company said investment bank Lazard has been primed to be selected as the financial advisory with the view of pairing with law firm Hogan Lovells on a joint mandate to offer advisory services to Ghana. A blogger and IT professional have been put before the Accra Circuit Court on charges of spreading false news. The blogger Jeffrey Eprim was charged with publication of false news, while the IT professional Jeremiah Kobina Ejabing was charged with as his accomplice. According to a report by Graphic.com, the accused persons were arrested by the police following an investigation into a report by the Bank of Ghana on a publication which, according to the central bank, had caused fear and panic among the public and resulted in public or panic withdrawals. A former Ghanaian banker with Goldman Sachs Group, Asante Berko, has been arrested over his alleged involvement with bribes paid to Ghanaian authority during his time at the investment bank. Berko is also the former managing director of state-owned enterprise Tema Oil Refinery. According to a Bloomberg report, Mr. Berko is facing a six-count charge after his August 2020 indictment documents were unsealed by a federal court in Brooklyn, New York last week. The charges per the report said Mr. Asante Berko is accused of conspiring with two Ghanaian authorities and four others in the alleged bribery scheme. The scheme is said to have favored Goldman Sachs Group, Asante Berko, and a Turkish-based energy company that was seeking to build a power plant in Ghana. Ghana's inflation has hit 40.4%. The Ghana Statistical Service has announced the new rate, which is compared to 37.2% recorded in September, makes it the highest in about 20 years. Government statistician Professor Samuel Kobina Enim, speaking with journalists on November 9th, said the increase can largely be linked to rising food prices over the past months. The price of food reached 43.7% inflation in October from 37.8% recorded in September this year, while non-food inflation rose to 37.8% from 36.8%. The month-on-month -month inflation, according to the Ghana Statistical Service, rose up to 2.7% in October from 2.0% in September this year. Over 1,000 Ghanaians have thronged to circle overhead where a stand has been mounted by some personnel to help applicants apply for the American Visa Lottery. According to one of the facilitators of the American Visa Lottery, a total of 1,561 Ghanaians have been registered in the past four weeks. Some applicants captured in a video making rounds on social media explained that the current economic crisis consisting of high cost of living was a contributing factor to their relocation abroad. They also saw the American visa lottery as an opportunity to travel abroad in search of greener pastures. <laughs> That's all for today. Thank you very much for joining us on today's edition of Bistec on Ghana Web TV. Remember, this show airs every Friday on the same platform. Before we go, do log on to www.ghanaweb.com for more stories. Do well to follow us on all social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the Ghana Web. On YouTube, Ghana Web TV. My name is Ernestina Sewa Asante. Do have a splendid weekend.